All right, here we go, here we go. Listen up. Now, we talked this week about being a disciplined bunch, all right? And we talked about our game plan causing us to be disciplined, all right? Let's make sure we handle that tonight. We've been blessed. It's been a good day so far. Let's don't run it here. Let's make it even better. Give me strength. Give me strength. I give you glory. I give you glory. Give me strength. Give me strength. I give you glory. I give you glory. Give me strength. Give me strength. I give you glory. I give you glory. Give me strength. Give me strength. I give you glory. Give me strength. Give me strength. Yeah. 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 We've got new information after a night of gang violence in Knoxville. Three shooting scenes, two dead and one hurt. A 15-year-old boy was killed in a shooting on Badget Drive. That victim, Xavier Dobson, was a sophomore football player at Fulton High School. And today, we learned Xavier was killed trying to save others. Xavier Dobson, a 15-year-old Fulton High School student and football player, was struck and killed after he had jumped on top of three girls to shield them. <clears throat> Sorry. To shield them from the shooters. Those are the kind of things you read about from war heroes. Those are the kind of things you, you read about you know, from, from folks in my line of work. But at 15 years old, I mean, you know, just to, to have that, that, the fortitude, right, to, to, to make that decision, uh, pretty amazing. I hadn't probably been in my house maybe 30 seconds uh, walking through when I got my first text asking what happened. And I'm looking at the text, what happened with what? devastated me and devastated my family to think that one of my players uh, was dead that night because of senseless gunfire. You're standing there doing what kids normally do, right? And then out of the blue, uh, gunmen come out and start randomly firing. The description of what took place then was people took off running, right? But Xavion, instead of running like everyone else, and we certainly know from his, his, his athletic prowess, he certainly could have, could have run away. Uh, but he sees two little girls that, that just basically froze in their tracks. And so he jumps on top of them. And as he jumps on top of them, he takes a round. It's terrible, it's devastating to know that your child was murdered by a gun. <laughs> Violent. It's sad. It's awful. But I'm going to keep going because he would want me to. I'm not going to give up. Xavion Dobson was a sophomore at Fulton High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. He played football, beloved by his classmates and his teachers. He headed to a friend's house to play video games. He wasn't in the wrong place at the wrong time. He hadn't made a bad decision. He was exactly where any other kid would be. Your kid. My kids. And then gunmen started firing. And Xavion, who was in high school, hadn't even gotten started in life dove on top of three girls to shield them from the bullets. He gave his life to save theirs. When I heard, it just broke me down. I got a call from my mom and it was just heartbreaking. The day after it happened, like we all had a team meeting. He, or you could hear it was just crying and tears everywhere. You know, Xavion, I, I probably kind of smile every time I hear his name. I've often described him as a, as a fun guy 
before or after practice, you always saw a ton of people around his locker because he was usually over there cracking a joke on somebody or telling some kind of story, and everybody just thought he was so funny. Everybody used to go around his locker on game day practices because he was the funny guy, like, just crack jokes. He was on the edge, like, he's right around the corner from me. He used to walk me to a second block, and he'd tell Miss Brown, uh, I'm dropping off my son, and it just, it was just funny. You know, I try to take stuff from Xavion and put it in myself because he has so many good qualities that I want to have. So I think about Xavion all the time. And I just wanted him to be a part of something, you know, just get involved, build your character, know what your drive is, learn the game. So Xavion was the type that studied the ex and the old man, he would write plays. And he just really liked the game. We did everything together. Like Our mama always kept us in every sport. I mean, we we did football, basketball, baseball. We were on a swim team at one point. Football was just what we, what we liked the most. That's what we stuck with. One of the most touching things that happened that night, then probably at, I don't know, 3.30, 345 in the morning, Zach texts me and says, Coach, I want to wear my brother's number next year. I want to wear number 24. And obviously granted him that wish. Yeah, so after this happened, we're trying to think of ways that uh, we can make Xavion's legacy live on, not just by doing a T-shirt, or, but, but something that will spark conversation, something that will show honor to him. And, you know, the, de the decision to... Uh, try to renovate our weight room and, and I guess give it a total makeover. When I found out about the Lift Life Foundation and what they do, uh, could we be a candidate for that? So it's 4.30 uh, in the morning. Just leaving to head to the airport. We're heading to Knoxville, Tennessee to meet up with Coach Black and the rest of the Fulton High School staff for our second Lift Life Foundation project. The Lift Life Foundation is a nonprofit organization that renovates underfunded high schools into state of the art facilities. We take crummy and unsafe weight rooms and we turn them into these spectacular spaces with amazing equipment that students can really get excited about and have amazing tools to help them with their fitness journey. So we selected Fulton High School as our second project for a few reasons. So the combination of seeing Fulton High School's weight room and Xavion's story is the reason why we chose Fulton High School as our second Lift Life Foundation project. All right, here we are. You know, I, I think we get a bad rap at Fulton. Uh, I don't know that I would label us inner city, but we're, we're called an inner city school. Uh, I think people on the outside, when they actually get in and actually see what we're all about, we're pretty impressive. I would say from outside, we're probably known for our athletics. I mean, we, we especially over the last, you know, 15 years, we've had a really great run of, of, of athletic success. You know, I think a lot of kids see it as a way out. Uh, they see athletics as, as a way to, uh, to a better life. They see a lot of their, their former classmates that play on Saturday that they can watch on TV, and that's appealing and enticing. So uh, athletics to uh, this community, is a, uh, it, it plays a huge role. Really, well, in this community, like, you have to, you have to stay in doing something positive, I mean, because if you're not, I mean, you're most likely going to get in trouble or something bad might happen. Uh, I've been playing football for about nine years now and I played baseball ever since I could pick up a glove. We think of our school as one of the best athletic programs in Knoxville or East Tennessee, period. Ever since I picked up a football, I've always wanted to play, and ever since I played flag, it's just like I fell in love, and ever since then, I just kept playing and playing and playing. We don't have a whole lot of money. We don't have a whole lot of funding. We don't have a whole lot of people out there helping us, you know, raise money. 
We don't receive any funding for athletics at all from, from our school system. And that, I'd say that's probably pretty normal across the board at, at this point. Our, our local dollars and our state dollars and our federal dollars are all tied back to the classroom some way or another. So all our athletics are, are self-funding. The money that is, is raised here is done from gate receipts. It's done from the, you know, from the coaches that get out there and hustle. So uh, our facilities, you know, they're, they're not bad. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's parts of town that are, that are uh, probably better. We work out a lot. Well, you know, we always want to get bigger and stronger, and the help, weight room definitely helps us with that. I mean, in the summer, like, we have to go to the weight room. I mean, we have to. In the off-season, we're in there probably about three times a week, and we just lift, 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 try to get stronger and faster. I don't know, it's just something, like, I like to do. I just like putting a lot of weight on there and giving it my all. You know, our biggest challenge is, is making sure our kids have all that they need to compete when uh, economically that, that, you know, that's just a challenge nonetheless. All right, we're here at Fulton High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're going to walk into the school right now and get a tour from Coach Black and the rest of the staff. From the Lift Life Foundation, we've got myself, Dean Sakamoto, our program coordinator, and our facilities guys, Jim and Dylan. So let's get in there and see what this place looks like. The first initial trip that we, we take to any school, we really just kind of start that brainstorming process of what do we want this space to look like? How can we you know, manipulate it to bring it back to life? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Hey. How's, how's it going? going? Rob going? Black. Kirk, Kels Gordon, nice to meet you. Yeah. Rob Space. Kirk, nice Kirk, to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice What's up, buddy? Good, how, you Good. how about you? Welcome to Knoxville. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, this is awesome. Coach Black is, is an amazing man. I mean, you can just tell that the minute you meet him. The more you're around him, the more that's apparent. And especially, you know, he, he's like a father figure to these football players. He wants to see them succeed more than just, you know, winning football games. You mentioned in your submission video that you thought having a new weight room would kind of inject a sense of pride in not just uh, the athletes, but also the rest of the student body to maybe uh, encourage and, and entice them to, to get in there and start living a healthier life. You know, we, we know if they're here with us, they're, they're safe and they're doing something worthwhile to better themselves and no better place to do that than weight room. Absolutely. The, the goal is to go out there, meet with you know, the school themselves, make sure that you know, they understand who we are as a foundation, what we're trying to accomplish, and then really start kind of the design phase of it. Yeah, so tell, tell us a little bit about the school. Yeah. I mean, uh, the weight room in general, I mean, how big is it? You know, what, what types of programs are you guys using through it? Size-wise, I haven't really measured to tell you square footage. I, I know we don't have a, a whole lot of space for the amount of kids that we have. Everybody uses our weight room. You know, it's, it's everything from athletics and all of our athletic teams to our PE classes, wellness classes. We have uh, staff. If you don't mind showing us the, uh, the weight room, we'd love to get in there and see what we need to do to, to transform the space. Absolutely. <laughs> right out this that. way. You know, walking in, you know, we didn't quite know what to expect, so I wasn't sure exactly what the state of the entire gym was gonna be. Yeah, the weight room itself is uh, pretty uninspiring. I mean, it's, you walk in and it's very cold, stale feeling. There's a few, th a few things that doesn't work, like it's taped together and like, we just can't use it because it doesn't work. The, the pulley things, like we pull down, um, there's a few weights in there that's taped together. Um, the treadmills, they don't really work like that. This might be uh, like an original uh, treadmill. This, this, <laughs> yeah, they the probably first, don't make the first anymore. treadmill ever made. Yeah. yeah. The first thing I noticed was how well they take care of what they do have, which is not much. A lot of the equipment is broken, um, pads are torn. A lot of the equipment I guess you see on the outer edges is older equipment that's either been given to us. An old floor, I don't know that this floor is really made for a weight room. I think it's a little thin rubber floor. You see a lot of rusted equipment and, and stuff that's not functional, we've got shoestrings holding that one together over there. There was some existing weight equipment that really was in decent shape, um, but when we actually got there and kind of really dove into the nuts and bolts of what that gym you know, had, uh, it, was, it was in rough shape. The current state of the weight room definitely needs an overhaul. There is a lot of outdated equipment. Um, as you can see, some of the dumbbells have rust on them. We've got a ton of old cardio equipment that has, has super dated probably from the early 80s. It just it just really, really needs, you know, some TLC and some love. Some of the plates are rusted, the bars are rusted, some of the bars you can't even get out of the racks. 
Well, believe it or not, we've got a lot of extra bars over here, but we can't get them out of their stands. They're rusted in, so okay. if we, we can't use those. They're, they're stuck in there. We've got another set of them over there, too. So Is it we'll, utilized <laughs> daily? Each yeah, yeah. So this, there's usually somebody using this weight room every day, and that's summertime, and that's during the school year. I mean, this is a, this is a really cool space, but we're going to be able to upgrade, you know, and kind of take this thing to the next level. Coach Black made it really clear kind of what his wish list was. You know, he he loved the Fulton branding. They wanted something that was flashy they wanted something that they could show it off to the other teams they wanted you know something that it was it was it was something they could be really prideful of and, and kind of boast about how how cool this weight room was and so we really wanted to kind of create that for them so on that wall so this is when you're looking when you come into the gym Michaela Fricky came on as our uh, lift life designer so she came helped us out to make sure that everything we were doing was visually appealing, especially with the tribute wall, a floor to ceiling mural. You know, that was a big component that we wanted to make sure was done very well and very tasteful. So this will be on this back wall here. So this is Zevion's tribute wall. And then this will be, um, this whole wall will be this. We're close. I'm excited. So fortunately, uh, Coach Black and the, the football players and some other students uh, were able to clear all the uh, old weight equipment out for us prior to us getting there. So when we arrived the second time, it was a uh, kind of a blank slate. The overall renovation process uh, took us about uh, 10 days total. You know, it took everything we had to get it, to get it you know, basically demoed and then built back up in about 10 days. At that point, we really focused in on the demolition portion with uh, tearing the ceiling tiles out. The lighting, fortunately, had already been done by a partner of ours who uh, came in and just replaced all the lighting, so that was taken care of. A uh, big focus for us was the flooring, and once we started digging into it, uh, we had to pull out all the tiles. It was a huge labor that we weren't ex expecting. So when we went in there, we knew that we wanted to try to keep um, all of the students and all of the coaches out of the, the weight room if possible. Obviously they knew something was going to happen, but they had no idea to what level or what degree we were going to go. So, you know, some rumors started. Coach Black and some of the staff were kind of just messing with the students saying, you know, that there was something else going in there. Uh, I, I guess at some point in time it started circling the school that we weren't going to have a weight room anymore, we were going to have a pool. So. Um, I thought that was kind of funny. I've had several kids ask me that. What's going on with the weight room? Um, the last thing I heard that they were redoing it and painting and different stuff like that, but I haven't seen it. Some people said they're expanding it, but I just think they're kind of redoing it. Uh, well, from my understanding, that is they're just putting a new floor in there and new um, ceilings and lights, and so far, and that's all I know so far. We started painting, we started adding diamond plate. Uh, we built those columns back up so we could put vinyl on them. Then all of a sudden it's like, bam, equipment shows up. So we have uh, long-term partners that uh, really stepped up on this project and helped us out immensely. Our equipment partner, Arsenal Strength, lighting partner, Westco, dry erase board, righty board. Catapult 3, our graphics partner, and Woodland Group, our logistics partner. You know, they could have charged us, but once they found out what we were doing and why we were doing it, they donated uh, their products and services to us. And so that helped us save a, a lot of time and money. So uh, we're, we're super appreciative to everyone involved to help uh, make this happen. This might be all the... Uh... Dynamic. This is, the, this is it. This is, this is the, big... the big load. Yeah. We're not even playing around right out of the gate. Yeah, buddy. We're getting that thing through the door. Uh, we're in crunch mode, and we have no time to spare. Today we've got the flooring going in, graphics going in with C3. Equipment is delivered. Jim is uh, unloading that right now with a massive forklift, getting that staged. Today is going to be a very busy day. We just got done 
uh, unloading 14 pallets uh, of weight equipment. The flooring right now is getting cut in. We're waiting for them to finish the install. It should be done by six or seven tonight. And then our crew is gonna come back in um, late tonight, unpackage everything, get any, everything staged and into the weight room, ready to be assembled tomorrow. What? Why are we doing it in the boat? Um, because our floor manufacturer had a water jet go down. So that put their production time two days behind, which put the flooring guy two days behind, which means we're two days behind. So we got to catch up, uh, work all through the night, and get it done. So we're blind. <laughs> and it's not humid at all. So that's nice. <laughs> Dry heat. It's, it's a real trip. Some of my favorite moments of, of working on the project, I mean, it, it, it seems like just a grind to go through it, but uh, I mean, we've got a really great group of people that, that come along to help us with this. <laughs> Honestly, I'm feeling just on top of the world that we finished this project. For one, this happened in our backyard. The, the reason that we're doing this particular project, it's personal to us. But this is a way that we can also show that we're giving back to our community by doing this and supporting Xavion and his family. Yeah, just, it just puts it into perspective. Um, of how much we've gotten to know Xavion through this process, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I just take uh, great pride in, in what we're doing as a foundation. Um, not just for the school um, and uh, the material things. It's, uh, it's not about that. Real quick right here, uh, we're excited about tonight. We're excited about it being homecoming. We've had a transformation going on here. So I wanna introduce uh, a group of people that have been here doing stuff for you for the past two weeks. I know you've heard a ton of rumors. So I'm gonna introduce Kirk, Calzacorda, and the Lift Life team, if they'll come on stage, please. Thank you. The energy in there was amazing. Kids were so excited. They, they knew something was in the air with homecoming and with us there. Hello, Fulton Falcons. Are you guys ready to game tonight? I can't hear you. All right. So the Lift Life Foundation is a nonprofit organization that transforms old, dilapidated, and unsafe weight rooms into state-of-the-art facilities. When Coach Black nominated Fulton High School's weight room, it was obvious that it was in disrepair and could use our help. But once we heard about Xavion's story, it was clear that Fulton High School had to be our next project. Xavion's valor, outgoing personality, and dream big attitude inspire us to do this project in honor of him. So thank you to Zenobia and Zach Dobson for allowing us to do this in honor of their son and brother to ensure that his legacy lives on forever. This is unbelievable. <laughs> hey, did you see the did you see the logos on the on the plates? The you know, first thing I said when I walked in, I guess, was wow. Um, and as I walked around, you know, uh, everything's first class. 
amazing. This is amazing. I read Zach pretty good, and uh, I saw excitement. Uh, I saw some emotions. I know he's proud of it. I know he's proud of his brother. I can't even describe detail of work that that was done here for our kids and in honor of Xavion. Like I said, it's first class. Oh, we got, oh see, they're putting in new speakers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, oh, yeah, we bumping now. Coach, we bumping, I'm sorry. Well, I, I think you've seen it in the kids' faces, right? The transformation. Uh, you know, I've talked to several of them as they were they were moving about, and uh, they all said the same thing. They want to hang out here. Uh, that's touching. Uh, very fitting. And, uh, you know, uh, I was over there with Coach, and, uh, uh, you know, they got a little emotional. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's very fitting. And, uh, you know, something for them all to, to strive to do, you know, is to, to live the life like Xavion did. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Wow. It's, it's awesome. It's all that. It speaks to high volume, that picture. 24 strong, and I'm watching over you fellas. It's just so amazing. And wow, it, it warms my heart to know that he sacrificed his life for his friends, so his legacy will live on. It's amazing. I mean, early I was about to cry. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Someone walks into the, the Fulton weight room, I want them to see the potential and promise of what that weight room represents. Whatever they're striving to achieve, that that weight room is kind of a sanctuary for them to go into and to put everything they have to achieve their goal. I want them to look at Xavion's tribute wall and, and get encouragement and, and motivation from him. That's beautiful. Knowing that that's the way that they should live their life. That they should live like Xavion.